Yeah, so I got cut off my last video. Pissed me off too, y'all, because I was uh, I was spitting some fire. But yeah, so bas basically, I see I left off showing a uh, older woman in the rearview mirror. She must have been about like she was about 55 years old or something like this. And it's like what makes this society, what makes it like so much cognitive dissonance going on is people actually think this stuff is normal. They just keep going day to day thinking this stuff is normal. Basically, the spirits told me this. It's told me basically just just hang on because this is this is almost over. Uh, the reason we have you working so much and away from people and isolated is because it's dangerous out here. It's a lot of criminal activity going on with people. It's not even wise for me to link up with women anymore unless they show some signs of submission. OK, because you hook up with these women out here, you don't know who they know and you don't know where they come from. That's why it's going to end up like Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. Women are eventually just going to have to beg men to marry them or be with them because most men like myself, responsible, working, hardworking men, we're just like, uh-uh. Like, I'm just going to exit stage left and completely remove myself from the situation because the woman has become so domesticated beyond belief that it's, 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 it is narcissism, actually. Woman doing all this stuff, it's, it's, it creates a narcissistic type of character in the female she doesn't respect men. Naturally, she doesn't. Naturally, she, uh, women don't respect men because they're out of their role and men's are out of their role. Uh, another thing, too, you know, men's supposed to be out working. And they're supposed to be basically away from the woman. They're not supposed to be falling up behind a woman all day. Go read. All you got to do is read your Bible and find out what men used to do in these so-called marriages. But now people think. You know, you're supposed to be living in the same house, sleeping in the same bed. Let me tell y'all something. I told y'all in the past about sleeping in the same bed with your woman every night. How that's not, you're not supposed to be doing it. Well, just read your Bible and you'll find out men didn't even really live in the house with their women. I know women right now, y'all, in other countries that they man do truck driving and their man is never at home and never falling up on, uh, up on their ass all the time. And that's the way it's supposed to be done because being up all up on your woman every day, that, that, that emasculates the male. I don't care how, how much of a man that somebody believes they is by falling up behind a woman all day, sleeping with a woman, at home with a woman, always with the woman, it emasculates the man. And it actually makes them, makes them sick. It can create some type of disease because the woman is naturally a vampire. She has this negative type of energy and she sucks, sucks the man's energy. Uh, before I got cut off, I was mentioning how I'm so I, I'm so much healthier because I'm basically out 16 hours a day in the sunshine and drinking more. I notice I drink more water when I'm at home. I can actually literally feel my immune system dropping. I'm telling y'all the truth. My metabolism, my immune system, everything just drops. Everything just drops. That's why it's hard for me to, to, to respect some overweight male sitting at home all day eating some goddamn wood. God knows chocolate bonbon sitting up in a crib all day. Those are the type of men that need to be in relationships because the woman, the woman would like that. Uh, most of these domesticated women like the man all up on. They, they think that's normal. That's not normal. A man's supposed to be out taking care of his business 12 to 16 hours a day and really barely, and, and only be seen by the woman when it's time to be seen. Not because, oh, I'm finna just chill with my honey buns today. We finna go to the mall and hold hands outside. All that shit is emasculation. All of it. I don't even see how these women respect respect men anymore because they're so emasculated. And meanwhile, the woman is just, she just has this masculine personality. Like she actually supposed to be getting up thinking about capitalism like a man is. That's, 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 uh, 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 what do you call it? I don't know, man. I can't think right now. A, a man, man, a woman is a new man. That's what I think I'm, I'm going to tire of this one. I'm going to leave this one as part two. A uh, woman, uh, woman is the new man. The new man is a woman. <laughs> Look at him. When, when do women start wearing jeans? Think about it, y'all. Think about some of this stuff. Here go a woman right here, right? Here go a woman right here. God, I'm a multitasker. I sports bet. I talk about consciousness. I drive, do videos. Woman, you should, you should, be, you should be glad to uh, talk to a dude like me. Even, even be glad to be seen with a dude like me. Women wearing jeans. How ridiculous is that? Coochie all getting all funky. Women supposed to be, be wearing uh, 
dressing so so y'all can get some air up there. Went wearing freaking jeans. Don't even let me get into that, y'all. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not even gonna go there. Women wearing jeans. Y'all don't even realize that, that that that's fucking ridiculous. That's how stupid and dumbed down the society is. They don't even they don't even realize that a woman would never wear jeans. Somebody need to do an investigation when and women start wearing jeans. Probably probably sometime around a, a feminist movement when they decide to become a man. You know, and then I, another reason I know they ain't supposed to be wearing jeans because it, it, it shows they figure. And so every time Dick and Harry's out there looking at her ass, that's another reason we know women ain't supposed to be wearing no jeans. What a fucking man. What a fucking sick society. Y'all Y'all have no idea. And people would rather think it's just me that I'm crazy than what I'm talking about. Mm-mm. Nuh-uh. No, it's them. It's not me. It's them that's lost touch with what's supposed to be what on this on this planet, man. You know? Uh, but yeah, the spirit just tell me, hold on. You know, just hold on. Because we don't have you out here dating women. We don't have you out here doing nothing but working because it keeps you safe. And it's, it's actually healthier. Plants need sun and water. If you keep them in a the house, what happens to that plant? Well, unless you sit in the window and water is going gonna, is gonna to eventually die, right? That's what happens to human beings sitting around a house all goddamn day. It kills them. You have to be out working. If you out, not to say that I do want to live in my 90s because I, I don't want to live to be 90, 90 years old, not in this world. But you can live to 100 years uh, for a man if he exercises, stay outside about 12 to 16 hours a day. I guarantee you'll live to almost 100 years old. Yep, it's truth. But yeah, woman is a new man. And it's just, like I say, man, it's just, mm. It's disgusting going into these workplaces and knowing that there's nothing there about but a bunch of women. And then the pro productivity, the more women you put on these jobs, the more the pro productivity drops. Women cannot work as efficient as a man. So we know that this society is not about productivity. This society is about experimentation. That's what people need to understand. It ain't about money. It ain't about producing more money. It's, it's simply experimentation. That's all this shit is down here for. We like lab rats. Sorry to break it to y'all. And it's like Joseph Chaplin said, this is a demonic system. And all the movies they come out with and all the cartoons catering to demons. The movie Toy Story, y'all think, uh, I got this from Into the Stars. They think the movie Toy Story is a cartoon, but the whole movie Toy Story is about uh, uh, lost children, like abducted children that are exploited. That's what the movie Toy Story really is about. And then what they do, they come out with Toy Story. Toy Story Part 2, Toy Story Part 3, Toy Story is about trafficking children, missing children on miss, miss milk cartons. That's what the, that's what Toy Story is about. And uh, I just watched the Gremlins thing yesterday. And let me tell y'all, man, this in, Into the Stars dropped it, man. He got into that Gremlins movie, and it was dropping in so much in that Gremlins movie, man. It was even talking about what we're going through right now. It wasn't even all about the war. It was talking about political stuff in the. I couldn't. I can't believe this stuff, y'all. They knew everything that was gonna go down. That hey. Isn't, don't that let you know this is an experiment? If they knew in the like 1939 World's Fair that Donald, that, that the T, we call him Mr. T, was going to be president and then he was going to be the one to usher in the needles. If this has been going on, if they knew this stuff 60, 70, maybe even 100 years ago, how can this be about productivity? No, this is, this is an experiment. They, they, they working with fallen entities. There's no other way you can explain how, they, how you, know, you watch Into the Stars channel and he's dropping it like this. And by the way, I'll leave, in case anybody don't know, Insta Star, I'll leave a link. But anyway, I'm just about talking about that, y'all. I'm going to get to work. Talk to y'all later. Peace.